How's it going, guys? You fucking nailed my name, dude. That was ver that's how my mom says it. <laughs> and she's the one who came up with it. Well, she came up with the first part. I helped her. No, you didn't. Uh, I did. How, how old are you? I'm 49. Oh, fuck. Story checks out. <laughs> my mom's 47. That could have happened. You should name your kid Kamel Najiani. <laughs> That's how that conversation went. Why is this happening? Why are you the only one here? You're the bravest man in Santa Monica or wherever the fuck we are right now. That's, it's all empty. Why are you guys not up here? Not too self-assured. What did you say? Not too self-assured, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I like that you ended that sentence with, I guess. <laughs> Not to self-assured or something. No, I think the words before that conveyed. I guess I'm drunk. Yeah, you are, I guess. I'm not, I guess I'm not confident, but what do I know? I actually hit my head on that. <laughs> That's how cow hole do. Uh, do you guys know that Ice Cube song, uh, Today Was a Good Day? I didn't even have to use an AK. Which, by the way, I've had all great days based on that logic. <laughs> Never once used an AK, you know? Ice, it's all been great days. Uh, but there's a part of that song where Ice, I'm just gonna call him Ice. Uh, Ice is calling up his friends to see what part they're playing basketball in. And uh, Ice goes, uh, Put me on the court and I'm trouble. Last week, fucked around and got a triple-double. Did you really? Did you really actually get a fucking triple-double? Did you get at least 10 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists? Were you playing against fucking children? Also, what kind of asshole keeps track of assists during a fucking pickup game? With their friends. What a huge dick. What a chore he must be to be around. You scored, but I passed to you. Less than three seconds, another assist for Ice. Oh, look, another triple-double. This is going in the song. What song are you talking about? And what does your mother call you, Ice? So many questions. I, um, I'll tell you guys this story. Uh, this happened to me when I was a kid. I was like 10, my brother was six. My dad was like, he, he made us go to this birthday party. He was like, we didn't like this kid. It was his friend's kid who didn't want to go. He was eight. And my dad, not my dad, <laughs> the, the kid. My dad was like, bad news. You have to go to the birthday party. And we're like, fuck. So we get there and uh, the birthday was in Pakistan. Um, I mean, we were all in Pakistan. <laughs> that would have been fucking horrible. <laughs> Dad was like, bad news number two, it's in Pakistan. I'll give you the ticket there. Make your own way back. See you probably never. No, we were all in Pakistan. So we get there. We don't want to be at this thing. We get there. And for some reason on the stereo, they're playing a knockoff Pakistani version of the birthday song. I swear. And the song goes, uh, this is exactly how it goes. The song goes, uh, happy birthday. Thank you very much. <laughs> Happy birthday. Th over and over. Those are the only fucking lyrics. And you think it's like a duet, you know, with like a guy like, Happy birthday, thank you very much, but it's one dude's voice. So it's one crazy guy wishing himself a happy birthday and then thanking himself as if he's surprised every time. Like, happy birthday, oh, thank you very much. I can't imagine anything sadder. Like if you open the door and there's a dude wishing himself a happy birthday in a mirror while he's like applying lipstick. <laughs> Close the door, cause he's gonna shoot himself. <laughs> so the song, and I like to think of this guy who wrote the song, like I hate the traditional birthday song. And he goes to his like record label, like allow me to blow your mind. <laughs> happy birthday. So we're at this birthday and this fucking song is playing and uh, over and over and uh, most Pakistani birthdays, a monkey shows up. Um, <laughs> thank you, that's my time. Good night. Nice. What? <laughs> I re realize it requires explanation. 
uh, if Pakistan monkeys can drive, um, I mean, once they're 16, let's not be racist, okay? Or if there's a grown-up monkey in the back with them. No, this is fucking true. This is the true part. Most, uh, in birthdays in Pakistan, the traditional entertainment is that there's a monkey who comes with this dude who is human completely. <laughs> And he puts on a little show, and it's a great show. Like, he's got like a hat, and he wears like glasses, and he rides a little bike, and he like walks around like that, like he struts around like that, and then he like doffs his hat, and then he struts around some more, which I'm sure he was taught to do through a lot of violence. <laughs> you can't just convince a monkey to walk like that. You have to hit it if it walks any other way. And then it knows this is how I have to walk so that the pain doesn't come. It's a fucking great show, totally worth it. <laughs> and I've seen this show many times, but for some reason, always, the monkey's name was always Alu Master, which translates to Master of Potatoes. Which is like not like a, that, it's nonsense there too. It's not like a saying we have. We're not like, dude, you are such a master of potatoes with your easy way with the women. Hide the ladies. Master of potatoes is here. Or like, fuck her, dude, you'll get over her. There's plenty more potatoes in the soil. That's not a saying. Uh, so we're at this birthday, but no monkey shows up, and we're all fucking complaining, like, what kind of birthday is this? There's not even a monkey, which, you know, that's a thought we've all had, right? What birthday? No monkey? Happy birthday is playing over and a happy birthday. Thank you very much. Over and over, and then the music stops, and this dude shows up, and he's got a sack, and out of it, he pulls out a cobra. And we're like, what the fuck <laughs> is going to happen? And then he has a cage, and he pulls out a mongoose, which is like a giant ferret. And he's like, these two are going to fight for you. And we're like, yes! This is the greatest birthday party of all time! We're all congratulating the kid, dude, birthday of the decade. We're all like, what's gonna happen? Who's gonna win? Who cares? High five! So we gather, we think it's gonna be like Street Fighter, you know? So we gather around, and uh, by the way, there's no fence between the thing and us, so. I didn't even think of this, but look, once this cobra is done with the mongoose, it's coming for us. Like, we're all that stands between it and freedom forever. Who's gonna stop a cobra once this is done? It's a fence of children. So we're all excited, we think it's gonna be like Street Fighter, we gather around, we're cheering! The fight starts. Two minutes in, it becomes very obvious that the snake is going to lose. The fight lasts 15 minutes, as parts of this snake are just ripped off. In the beginning, we're all cheering. The last 10 minutes, everybody watches completely silently as the snake gets ripped to shreds. There's a two-year-old watching, but he's not even crying. I bet he didn't cry for a year after that. There's blood everywhere, and nobody's making eye contact. I'm like, Alu Master would never allow this to happen. After 15 minutes, the mongoose rips the snake's face off. And that's when it stops fighting back. And it lays there completely still. And I remember for the first time in my life, I remember thinking, this dude just had his birthday, he's getting older, the snake just died, someday I'm going to die. <laughs> Worst birthday I've ever been to. <laughs> Happy birthday! That's my time, guys, thank you.